So you're a teenager and you're tired of your friends calling you fun size. Your mom says, don't worry, you'll grow. Your dad says, it's genetics, deal with it. I'm here to tell you, both are wrong. Because if your growth plates aren't closed, there's a way to squeeze every last inch out of your genetics. We're talking peptides, CJC1295 and ipamorelin. Let's break this down in gym bro English. CJC1295 is a GHRH, growth hormone releasing hormone analog. It tells your pituitary gland to pump out more growth hormone. There are two types, CJC1295, DAC, DAC means drug affinity complex. It sticks around in your body longer, about five to eight days. CJC1295 without DAC gone in a few hours. You gotta pin it multiple times a day to keep levels up. Ipamorelin is a GHRP, growth hormone releasing peptide. Think of it as the hype man for CJC. It signals your body to release GH without spiking cortisol or prolactin like older GHRPs. When you run them together, you hit your pituitary from two angles. One tells it to make more GH, the other tells it to dump more GH into your bloodstream. If you're a teenager trying to grow, consistency is key. With CJC DAC, you pin it once or twice a week and your GH stays elevated. That's constant stimulation for growth plates, no DAC, you'd have to pin two to three times every single day, every day, no excuses. Miss a shot, you lose momentum. And unless you want your mom walking in on you doing thigh injections before breakfast, DAC keeps it simple. Growth hormone plays a big role in bone growth, especially the long bones in your legs. During your teen years, your growth plates are still open. More GH means more IGF, one production in the liver. IGF-1 drives bone lengthening and density. CJC plus ipamorelin keeps GH pulses natural, but more frequent and higher. You're not forcing your body with synthetic GH. You're telling it to make more of its own. Translation, you're giving your body more of the raw material it needs to grow. And no, this won't make you six feet, eight inches overnight, but it can help you reach your full potential height if you're still in the growth phase. For CJC-1295 DAC, one to two milligrams once per week. Some split it into 0.5 to one milligram twice weekly. For ipamorelin, 100 to 300 micrograms. Once daily if running with DAC. Best timing, before bed or first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, inject subcutaneously in the belly fat. Rotate spots so you don't get lumps. Pro tip, avoid eating carbs, cha fats for about 30 minutes after injecting. Insulin can blunt GH release Increased height potential if growth plates are open. Better sleep quality, GH peaks during deep sleep. Lean muscle gain, reduced fat storage, faster recovery from workouts or sports, stronger bones and joints, temporary water retention, tingling in fingers or carpal tunnel-like feelings, redness at injection site, possible increased hunger, blame ipamorelin if abused, joint pain or insulin sensitivity issues. Keep doses moderate, more isn't better. You can't force your way to seven feet tall. If you're still growing, CJC DAC plus ipamorelin is like giving your body a growth friendly environment 24 seven. You'll sleep better, recover faster, and maybe add that extra inch your Tinder bio desperately needs. This is not medical advice. Talk to your doctor before using any peptides.